Virtual worlds online have become a place to make real money. In multiplayer online games like Second Life, EVE Online, or World of Warcraft, currencies are used to buy things as mundane as shoes or as fanciful as upgraded spaceships to better fight intergalactic battles. But it's not just the avatars or virtual characters making trades. Actual humans are profiting off these virtual economies. In World of Warcraft, for example, players work to earn gold. But lazy players can simply buy it on the black market, says video game expert Blair Herter of G4. Um, and if I don't want to actually put in the amount of time to, to make that goal myself, I can reach out to people online and say, hey, why don't you go and make this money for me and I will buy it for you. I'll buy it from you with real money. The practice is often referred to as gold farming, and not everyone is happy with this merging of on and offline worlds. Last month, the Chinese government banned selling virtual assets for real cash because of concerns about gold farming and fears that virtual currencies could start to compete with the yuan. One study done last year at the University of Manchester estimates that worldwide over 400,000 so-called gold farmers earn an average of $145 a month, serving 5 to 10 million customers. Estimated revenue? Somewhere between 500 million and over a billion dollars. Game developers have moved to ban such practices. They're looking to protect millions of dollars in monthly subscription fees paid by millions of players around the world. But the lure of real money is powerful. Take the recent scandal on EVE Online, where the CEO of the game's virtual bank embezzled interstellar credits. He then traded them for over 5,000 real dollars and was banned from the game. You're going to start to see them crack down on this stuff because if it becomes more prevalent, people, less people are going to play, and then that directly cuts into what they're making on subscription fees. And no earthly business wants to lose customers in this very real recession. Manoush Samarodi, Reuters, New York.